Today we are doing Revlon versus Revlon. It's pretty much the exact same product. These are both one step hair dryer and styler. This one is the one that I love. This one has an oval shape. It's also flat on one side and then it kind of curves. And it does have dual bristles. It has a nylon and then the bristles. And this one is a paddle brush, but it only has the nylon bristles. So I'm already kind of having reservations on this little bad boy right here. Let me check how much I paid for. This one retails for $39. Dollars and 99 cents and this is fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents I already can see why this one is a little bit more expensive just because it does have the dual bristles I love the shape of this just because you can curve your hair around it and the hair will stick onto the brush Rather than this is more of like a paddle brush like this. See it's a paddle brush. It's not gonna curve anywhere and yeah, so many of you wanted to see these two go head to head, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And it does kind of bounce back as a paddle brush would. They're very similar. I think the motors are exactly the same. This one, the paddle brush, is a lot lighter than this one right here, the original one. My hair is still nice and damp. I have some leave-in conditioner using the Saints and Sinners. Let's see if this one has any. There we go. Just going to split my hair or create a section. All right, we're gonna start off with the paddle brush just because this is a newer product and I wanna see how it behaves, how it works on my hair, what it does. All that good stuff. So the settings for the heat are exactly the same. You have the off, the cool, low, and high. I'm going to stick to the low just because with this one, the highest is just way too hot. It's way too intense for my hair and my scalp. So I'm just gonna stick with the lowest heat setting. All right, so automatically we're turning this on. The aerodynamics are completely crap and I'm being as nice as possible just because it's coming up from the bottom, skipping this little portion, just going all the way to the top and the air is only coming out from the very top. Very minimal if to any air is coming out from the bottom and the middle, it's, it's bad. Like, nothing is flowing right here. Nothing, a little bit. Same thing. Wow, I'm already so disappointed. Okay, we're gonna do the paddle brush on the left side. I'm gonna go to the highest heat setting just because <laughs> with the lowest, there's barely any airflow. This is so bad. <sighs> All right, so I have a lot of things to say about this. First, I don't like it. I think this is a flawed design. Why is this a paddle brush if only the air and the heat is gonna come out the very top? You can't even touch the tip because it's hot. The bottom, there's nothing coming out of it. Even in the middle, nothing coming out of it. There's no heat, there's no air coming out of it, only at the very top, the tip. Revlon and I's relationship, I either hate their product or I love their product. It's just how it is. Let me just show you quickly what this bad boy does. This is a complete game changer. It's so good, I have raved so many times about this product. It's it's really good. I'm gonna go on the lowest with this one. I mean, so different. There's a lot more control, even though it's not also, I mentioned this in the very first video when I reviewed this, 
the airflow is not completely all even, but because of the oval brush and you do have the airflow from everywhere, it does help when you do rotate the brush and it does help that it has the dual bristles and this is so much better. I'm trying to think of who would use this, who would like this, what kind of hair. Maybe if you have hair down to your butt and you just want like a paddle brush to just kind of run your hair through just, just like this and just to kind of blow dry it in one section. But if you just blow dry it with a paddle brush, I can see someone liking this, maybe. All right, let's try this again, but I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna brush it as I would with a regular paddle brush and see what happens. Back to the highest setting. So what I'm noticing with the paddle brush is because all of the heat in the air is coming up towards the top, if you keep it on for a longer period of time, the rest of the paddle brush, the middle and the bottom will heat up, but it's extremely uneven. That's my biggest drawback is how uneven all of this is. <laughs> right, I think with this side, with the paddle brush, I'm just kind of playing around with it, seeing what's working, seeing what's not. I'm using it as a wood, a paddle brush, just kind of brushing it down my hair. And then I'm using it as a wood, something like this, like a round or an oval brush and just kind of creating as much volume as possible. But it's not working as well just because it's not gripping to anything when you have with this one you have at least boar bristles to grip onto and the hair is not as smooth and that's kind of what i'm noticing all right so let's finish this off and i'll let you guys know <laughs> If you look, you can see the hair flying at the very top and then it's just kind of laying down towards the bottom and the middle because there's no airflow there. This just makes me question everything. The roots are still damp. Let's finish the other side. Whenever I use a hair dryer, it doesn't matter which kind on my hair, I always finish off on the coldest or the cool shot setting just to help set the hair in place. This helps with a lot of flyaways, frizz if you wanna call it. But basically all these little hairs that are sticking up is gonna kind of relax them and it will just give the hair a really beautiful shine. So on both, we're gonna do the cool shot and just finish off the hair. All right, so let's go with the original side. That's the one that I love. That's the oval flat round brush with the double bristles. In the camera, what I'm seeing and what I'm seeing in person, the hair looks very smooth. It looks very fluffy. It looks volumized and it's not separated versus on the paddle side brush, it still looks somewhat smooth. I think it looks a lot more rough compared to the other side. I think the bristles, they're separating the hair way too much and then clumping them together. And because it's very uneven in terms of heat and the air flow, so it's not doing the best job possible. And still some parts, the hair is still damp, like my roots. 
it just does not do a good job getting close to the roots and in my opinion it's a big fail in terms of performance i had the original brush set on the lowest heat setting and it dried the hair a lot faster and on the lowest heat setting and andre did the seek thermal camera and we checked it was roughly around 180 degrees fahrenheit and the paddle brush we had on the highest heat setting and it did not dry the hair it's still a little damp and it was roughly around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So there you have it. The paddle brush is a lot damaging on the hair and it's still not dry completely. I'm still obsessed with my Revlon One Step Styler and Volumizer. This is not a volumizer, this is just a paddle brush. So I'm still obsessed with my original one. I love it, I can't recommend it enough. They finally came back in stock like the beginning of this year. They were sold out everywhere. I think you can buy them on, I bought mine on Amazon and Ulta and Target. So you can buy them in all different three places. Please, 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 please don't buy them on those sponsored posts that you see on Instagram or Facebook with my face and my video. Please don't buy those. They are not Revlon. Don't buy it online from those websites. So many of you contacted and said you got scammed, that you didn't get the product. They still took the money out of your card. I am really sorry, but they think it's okay to steal content and pretend that this is their product. I am really sorry. I apologize if that happened to you, but please don't buy off of those sponsored posts on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you see them. Only buy them in Ulta, Target, Amazon. That way, if you do get a faulty product, you can return it and get your money back. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you all very much. Bye.